Hi there. In this tutorial, I will guide you through the process of installing and setting up Zotero, and then connecting it to Notion to automatically generate custom tables that organize your papers and notes. During this tutorial, we'll cover several topics including how to install and configure Zotero, how to utilize visual tags to highlight your papers, how to effectively use notes, how to integrate Zotero with ResearchRabbit, and how to set up Notero notes to ensure that your collections and notes are fully synchronized with Notion. Stay with me throughout this tutorial. You'll find links to all the sources in the description below. The first thing we want to do is downloading Zotero. To do this, navigate to Zotero.org, select the appropriate version for your operating system, and proceed with the download. Upon launching Zotero for the first time, a prompt appears, suggesting the download of the Zotero connector. I have it installed already, but you can follow the provided install link which redirects to the Chrome Web Store, where the extension can be downloaded. Once installed, its presence is confirmed by an icon located at the top right corner of the browser. After opening Zotero, I create a collection named To Read by clicking the corresponding button. Next, I visit a website hosting a paper of interest. By clicking the Zotero connector button in my browser, a menu appears, allowing me to select the destination for the paper's download. When I return to Zotero, I can see that the paper has been successfully downloaded to the specified collection. The next step is to organize the papers by setting tags, which can be done in the specified panel on the right side. This section already displays some tags automatically assigned during the paper's download. However, there is the flexibility to add more tags according to preference. It is also possible to add tags that apply to all papers. To this end, I will create a checkmark tag with an emoji to indicate that I completed reviewing this paper. Moreover, I intend to utilize various emojis to indicate papers that require reading or to emphasize those that are particularly important or essential denoted by the fire emoji and an exclamation mark. Then, by right-clicking on this tag, I assign it a color and set a priority value. For this tag, I designate priority one. This setting allows me to use the number one on the keyboard to toggle this particular tag on or off. I will apply the same process to the other tags. Now, I can easily toggle tags on papers by pressing the keys 1, 2, 3, and 4, with each number corresponding to a tag assigned in a specific sequence. Let's discuss how to manage notes. To create notes, you have several options. One straightforward method is to navigate to the Notes panel, where you can add a new note and begin typing your text directly. Another method involves opening a document, highlighting text that interests you, and then dragging this text into your note. You can continue adding to your notes in this manner until you're satisfied. Additionally, you can use the button in the top toolbar to add a child note linked to a specific document, allowing for organized note-taking related to that text. ResearchRabbit is a powerful tool that seamlessly integrates with Zotero, significantly enhancing the process of finding related papers. To effectively link ResearchRabbit with Zotero, it's crucial to grasp a key point. ResearchRabbit doesn't connect directly to the Zotero application on your local computer. Instead, it links to your Zotero account in the cloud. Therefore, it's necessary to enable synchronization on your local Zotero application. This ensures that any modifications made in the cloud version of Zotero are also updated on your local device, and vice versa. To get started with ResearchRabbit, first click the Connect to Zotero button. Proceed by accepting the default settings for your new private key, and you'll be connected. Next, select Import a Zotero Collection to choose the collection you wish to import. If you're interested in exploring papers related to a specific author or topic, simply click on that paper to explore its connections. 
For example, you may explore works by specific authors, search for an author's previous publications, or discover similar works by navigating through the various links in the side-scrolling interface. Should you decide to add a paper to your collection for further reading, you can simply click the corresponding button to update your collection both in the cloud and locally, ensuring your paper collections are synchronized. The last thing we need to set up is Notion. This part is quite a few steps, so make sure you follow along closely. I start by creating a new workspace in Notion called Demo, and this is the default page. Then I head over to a repository called Notero Notes. You'll find the link in the description. Notero Notes is a plugin for Zotero. It's actually a fork I made of the well-known Notero plugin, which syncs Zotero with Notion and automatically creates a table with all your paper's details from your Zotero database. But there is one thing missing. The original plugin doesn't show the content of the notes directly in the Notion table with all the other paper info. So my version, Notero Notes, adds that feature in. To get this plugin do as follows. Go to the release page. Scroll down to Assets and download the Notero Notes XPI file. Since GitHub is still open, I head back to the main page and in the description, there's a template for the database. I click on this link. This opens up a table with preset formatting. Up top, there's a link to duplicate the page. I click on it, choose the project where I want to copy the template to and decide whether to make it a private page or not. After duplicating, I find the table in my demo workspace. For simplicity, I go ahead and rename it. I then head over to Zotero. I click on Tools, then Add-ons, and choose Install Add-on from File. I select the plugin we downloaded and install it. Next, I go back to Notion to the page with my table database. I click on the three dots, select Manage Connections, and then Manage Integration. This takes me to a page showing all my integrations. For you, this page might be empty. I click on Add a New Integration. I name it Notero. Then, very important, I select the correct workspace where my integration will be active, which in my case is Demo. After clicking Submit, I make sure the selected capabilities include reading, updating, and inserting. Finally, I click on Secrets, reveal it, and copy my key. Now I can return to my integrations. Back on the page with the database, I click on the three dots again, select Connect To, and look for Notero. If it doesn't show up right away, try refreshing the page. Once you see it, click to connect. We're almost there. Now, let's head back to Zotero for the final setup. Go to Tools and select Notero Preferences. Here, paste the token we just copied. Then, choose the name of your database. Below that, you can select or deselect the collections you want to automatically synchronize. In my case, I choose to sync all of them. And with that, we're all set. Now we're ready to synchronize Zotero with Notion. Simply right-click on a specific paper or collection and choose Sync to Notion. After a moment, I can see my table updating with the selected paper. To further test the plugin, I'm going to create a note. As soon as I do, it is synchronized in Notion. Finally, I can also synchronize an entire collection all at once. Synchronization is working perfectly. Now, I want to share a tip on how to filter the data for specific collections without altering the main database. Instead, I create different views. For instance, if I want to see only two papers in the demo folder, even though the database displays all papers, here's what I do. I create a new page and insert a link table using the main database as the source. Then, I set up a filter, selecting collection, and then demo. Done. Now I can see only the two papers associated with the demo folder. If I add a third paper, it appears right away. When I write a new note, the text displays correctly here. Typically, in my workflow, I write notes in Zotero, see them in the table under the column Zotero Notes, and then use an additional Notes folder for a permanent summary of my notes. 
These notes remain unchanged even when the database is updated. In summary, I've shown you how to set up Zotero and ResearchRabbit and how to integrate these tools with Notion using the Notero Notes plugin. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. Thank you.